Okay, I had a, or I have a, a, a Russian friend on our, uh, our YouTube channel <clears throat> who said he had a real interest in these, uh, these old Bible Believers bulletins, and uh, I thought I'd do a short video showing them what they used to be like. Um, almost 14, no, let's see here, over 14 inches in length. Eleven, you know, almost a almost a foot wide. Uh, these were these were newspapers. This one is from 1984. Kind of this old neat artwork there. And I do believe that the bookstore has um, a DVD or CD, something like that. Uh, I probably have it here somewhere. Where you can you can get all these in digital form. Hey, a buck fifty for the tell it like it is. Wow. This is really cool. Let you read it there. The old Bible study and church history charts. <clears throat> I think that was the old one. Just kind of give you a little tour here. <clears throat> Video tapes. I think I had most of what they had in VHS form, along with audio tapes and cassettes. Um, let's see. There's one from 1979. The old lion. The old uh, Bible image there. Pretty cool. Question and answers. That was always the best part. Build your own Dr. Peter S. Rockman Library. I have. No, oh, look at this. 1978. Here's Jimmy Carter. There's the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, I guess. The space shuttle, which we no longer have. Sure word of prophecy. Uh, I think it's now called the kingdom of heaven versus the kingdom of God. If you don't have that, you need that. This video will be a little bit longer than I thought, but just so much neat stuff. I have, by the way, yes, I had... I had the ones that I got from Pastor DeMichael. Um, he was, man, the timing was perfect. I went to visit Treasure Valley Baptist Church back in uh, the 90s to see Dr. Ruckman. And Pastor DeMichael at the time uh, decided that it was time to kind of clean out the closets and whatnot and brought a bunch of these in. And... Uh, I was like a starving child in a candy store that was just told you can have whatever you want. And I just, I just scooped a bunch. And <laughs> DeMichael was, he was like, uh, take as many as you can prayerfully use. <laughs> well, I knew I could prayerfully use every last one of them. 1978. And I did, and I, I got them uh, laminated, so um, they're preserved. Not, I mean, I could spill my coffee on it, you know, do just about anything to it, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna ruin this. These 
old pictures of Dr. Ruckman in his prime. Man, when I when I discovered Dr. Ruckman and the King James Bible and everything that came with it, man, it's like the the curtains were drawn back and the light came in. Such good times. And it was right at the perfect time when I needed it too. Life had thrown me a giant curveball at that point, and I was really down. And the, just the blessing of all this came through at that time. Went out street preaching for the first time in Idaho. That was the first the first place I ever street, street preached was in Idaho. Scared to death. Quickly run through some of these. This one is 1979. Pre publication. Oh, autographed copy of the Bible, Bible Believers Commentary on the Minor Prophets. That was a good idea. This page kind of got washed out, but I think it was like that before I got it. Grab another one here. I don't even know what the, the date is. The sticker's over it. Strictly personal. That's where Dr. Rockman would... He'd usually have a strictly personal column in the bulletins where he'd just kind of pick a subject and write about it. That was the favorite article for a lot of people. Amen. And again, I think all of this is available in digital format from the bookstore. Let's go up to the search engine, type in uh, KJV, KJV 1611, and it should come up with the Bible Baptist Bookstore. You can click on that. This one's 79. This one, I think.
think it's 81. It's like some PBI students there. Seems to do horrible, those horrible changes that seems to describe this year and last year. Huh? <clears throat> 88. 88 reasons why the Lord's not coming in few more here. 1979. Oh, I remember these. Used to get these cassette studies in a this big jacket of tapes. I had library you know instead of a, a shelf of books it was full of these tapes <clears throat> i'd take a, a tape player on the garbage route strap it to my wrist or strap it to my waist and listen to uh bible tapes the whole time i was at work so if it was a 10 hour day 12 hour day i was listening to uh dr ruckman Sam Gipp, um, whoever at that time. This is uh, 86. This ought to be the, this probably be the man that replaces uh, Francis. I'm thinking he'd probably be about 33 years old, huh? A young man. There's the old crest. Body, Soul, Spirit, the original one, the original booklet on it. I have one of these. I bought it for the artwork, just for the cover, mainly. And 1979. There's uh, Dr. Ruckman right there. And they would... Uh, get in the back of a pickup truck, plug the meter, and then uh, in that parking space, they could legally sit there as long as they kept the meter plugged and preach on the street. And it also gave them a little bit of a barrier between the people and and then you were up on a pulpit and you're, you're up there where your voice is being projected. It's a real good idea. So no doubt the city came in and told them they couldn't do that, right? No doubt. be the four maybe the four tape sets oh romans that's a lot more yeah 16 cassettes oh, i spent thousands i think So that's uh, that's it for for this time.
Maybe next time, I'll show you that, the original.